Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing a mani that my mom would probably wear. Usually I do not wear my nails super long. I like to wear it short to maybe medium length. And let me tell you, I struggle to function with these nails and I don't know how my mom did it with these really long nails. Now let's start this video. I am going to be using a custom dip powder from Eclipse Dips and it's Mama Nadine. And I am going to use Mom's Dress from my brand, Brandy Loves Beauty. And I'm also going to be using the Dip Base Coat from Dip and Dusted Nails. I am doing two dips of Mama Nadine. When I announced my mother's passing on Facebook and even my Facebook group, the Brandy Loves Beauty group. She was also a moderator in a group. One of the owners of Eclipse Dips, they contacted me asking what was my mother's favorite color. And I said red. And she also liked yellow too, but most of the time you'll see her with red on. I think less than 45 minutes, the owner sent me a video of the dip that she created. And all I could say is that my mom would totally love it because... She loves sparkly dip powders and glitters, and I knew that my mom would appreciate it, and I also think the dip powder is really pretty, so if my mom was here, she would totally, like, wear Mama Nadine, like, whenever she could, because she would be so flattered, and she would also love to dip, and I am doing my typical vertical ombre, because I thought that it would work with my leopard print style glitter, and I'm going to take a break. If you're wondering what's going on with my nails and my hands, I ran out of gloves and I decided to color my hair because my mom's service was coming up and I wanted my hair to look decent. So my hands and my nails is severely stained by the hair color. I was able to get maybe 80% of the hair color off my hands and then the majority I struggle to scrub it off my nails. I even use acetone and rubbing alcohol and my nails wouldn't buzz. I even buffed and tried to file some of it off in a gentle way without damaging my nail plate. So I just said, you know what? I'll just slap on my Beatles tips and call it a day. And the Beatles tips are from this nail system that they have. I think it's currently twenty dollars. It's like a lower cost version of Kira Sky. And I end up giving away the Beetle tips and system to my younger sister because the largest size that they go to is a size one and I'm a size zero for my thumbs. So for my thumbs I had to go grab different tips and um use the system and it worked out. And I am going to take a break. I am doing two types of mom's dress. The base is clear with champagne and black glitter. And then I added some leopard print glitter. And when you dust off the excess dip powder, you're going to need to put the leopard print glitter back on since it's a heavier glitter. And a story about mom's dress. My mom loved animal print. Like when she goes out the house, she always have on some type of leopard print or cheetah print. Or sometimes she'll wear like other types of animal print, but most of the time it's like leopard print or cheetah print. So I had to create a dip powder that honors my mom's memory in a fun way. And I know that my mom is probably bummed right now that she's not here to put on a dip powder because I know she would totally love it. And 
this Manny, I forgot to mention before, I wanted to do a fun Manny for my mom's service. It was um last Tuesday, and my sisters and I, we wore leopard print and cheetah print to my mom's service because that's what she loved to wear. We decided not to wear, like, all black, and I even told people not to wear all black because I recalled at my mom mentioning that, oh, I wanted her, that she wanted her service, excuse me, to be, like, more happy, you know, not everybody like wearing all black. So I'm glad that I was able to remember that. And I know that my mom is probably happy that I made sure that not a bunch of people showed up in black. And I'm going to take a break. I am done dipping into mom's dress and now I'm going to place the leopard print where I want it. I like to apply some base coat and then a little bit of the base coat to a cuticle stick to make it easier for the glitter to stick onto my nails. And if I just need to do like a tiny adjustment, I wouldn't coat the whole entire nail with the base coat and only do um, a little bit of base coat to my cuticle stick and then pick it up. Only if I don't need to add that much. So I am going to let y'all watch me do this and then I'm going to take a break. I am doing a dip of clear so my precious glitters will not turn silver on me when I file and buff. And then of course I'll be upset about it because I spent a lot of time on this Manny. And I'm going to take a break. I am using a dip activator from Dip and Dust at Nails. I decided to do three coats because my nails are longer and I want to make sure that everything is nice and saturated. And I am going to file and buff off camera. I am using a gel base coat from Shondae Le Bonnet. I am just doing one coat and then I'm going to flash cure the thumb for 30 seconds and then the rest of the nails for 60 seconds. I decided to wear a matching mani to my mom's memorial service because the last thing that I want is someone be over there like, oh my gosh, the nerve of Brandy to show up to her mom's memorial service with mismatched nails. How dare she? Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so... It's rare that I do like matching manis these days because, you know, I got to promote every color that I could. And then I also have a bunch of this from other brands that I want to get through. So that's why I started to wear like mismatching manis. But, you know, like this rare occasion, I decided to match my mani. And I'm going to take a break. I am using a no wipe gel top coat from Shondale and Bonnet. I am doing one coat and of course I'm going to cure my thumb for 30 seconds and then cure the rest of the nails for 1 minute and 20 seconds. 
and I'm going to take another break. I will be using a bling box from California Boutique, and it's also owned by a company called C-Tones. And I'm going to be using the smaller rhinestones because I'm not sure if I could handle the bulkier rhinestones. So I decided to do smaller to see how it goes. I'm using the rhinestone glue gel from GAEN. I think my mom got the rhinestone gel from Amazon, and I think this is basically like a hard gel because rhinestones can be tricky if you don't have the right adhesive as soon as you do something a rhinestone will pop off and this product is pretty good and i'm just using my dotting tool to put on the rhinestone gel and as soon as i cared it it did not budge at all i was able to do a bunch of stuff throughout the whole entire week and i still had on the rhinestones and when my mom, when she got the bling box, she was so excited. So almost all of her manis had on some type of rhinestones. And she's a big fan of Sea Tones and California Boutique. Like she has like a bunch of products from them. And the bling box that you see right now, I'm sure that you already figured it out that it did belong to my mom. I decided to use it so I could do a tribute Manny to her and then I'm probably not going to use this bling box that often so I'm probably going to give it to a family member who will totally use it when I am done with it and I am going to let y'all watch me apply these rhinestones and I'm going to take a break When I was applying the rhinestones, I did carry it in between for 15 seconds just to make sure that the rhinestones doesn't move around. And if I feel that I need more rhinestones, I'll add a little bit more of the gel and then place it and then carry it for 15 seconds. And towards the end, when I cured everything for 60 seconds, I decided to put on a top coat just in case. But the uh, Rhinestone gel, it works pretty awesome by itself, but I decided to add like a, the top coat just for extra security. And it did work out. And plus my nails and rhinestones were super shiny after I was done. And I am going to be using the cuticle oil from Dip and Dust and Nails and the scent is Churro. And I would like to thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to view this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're loving this Manny. And don't forget to hit that little bell because it'll notify you when I upload a video.